Welcome back to Quarantine Reviews. This time we're doing episode three of Tiger King, my new favorite show that I never knew I needed. A little recap of the last episode. They're all nuts, they're all cult leaders, they're all breaking the law somehow, they all have multiple husbands and wives, and Carol may have killed hers. Carol! Carol worked me pretty good. I believed in her. I liked her. I stuck up for her. I bought the whole thing. I bought the cat luggage. I bought the cat clothes. I bought the imaginary cat friends. I thought she was just a sweet cat lady. I'm basically gonna power through this all night. Here's episode three. Let's begin. Go. What a story. Cold case 20 year old murders don't. Picking things right where they left off with Carol being a killer. And he did mention to me that he felt his life was in danger. What? I wouldn't be standing here today doing what I'm doing if it hadn't been for all of those things that have happened over the course of my life. And I'm not going to let one bad husband stop me. He told me that he was done, that he was divorcing her, and she was very dangerous. She wow. did come to Mars and say for us to stay away from fooled. her. He was afraid of her. Of we Carol, the cat lady. Want. I had been in a fight with my first husband. I actually had to throw a potato across the kitchen and into the dining room at him in order to get out the door. Is that effective? I deal with stress, I think, the same way cats do. I just pace cats. and pace and pace and pace. And he asked me if I would get in the car, and I told him no. That was forward. Pulls around again. I think it was on the third time he pulled around, and he had a gun sitting on the front seat of his car. And he said, you can hold this gun on me. I just need somebody to talk to. So I picked up the gun, held it on him, and <laughs> we drove around town, and he talked. What the hell is this? And I ended up spending the night with him. Don Lewis deserted basically his wife and kids because he was in love with the younger blonde woman. You Can know, we see a Carol. picture of young Carol? I know it's up, but... He used to call her Angel, and I said, she's an angel sent straight from hell, and one day you'll find out. Ooh, yikes. I've got her diary. I've, I've got it all. Ooh, sly. I need to know how Joe got her diary. Seven to seven and a half million dollars is what he was worth. I don't think anybody really knew that, but I'm- That's I good money, but it's not tiger money. Okay, she looks good there. Uh, I, no. She bred and sold cats. And mm. <laughs> it's so funny because the very people that are against breeding used to do the same thing. I think yep. you'll see throughout this tape. That, that makes are, sense. She just chose her brand so differently later, fun. and then she went back, and then she attacked other people who were doing the same thing. It just seems like turf war. That is when we learned that they weren't getting along real good. He also had a girlfriend in Costa Rica. Is there anyone in this whole show who doesn't have multiple partners? And then one day he came in, and he brought me a piece of paper. If anything happens to me, give it to the police. Wow, that's he insane. He gave me a copy of the restraining order that he had filed for. So it seems like he saw it coming. This is it's pretty damning circumstantial time. evidence. Careful. Look at this handwriting. Don was a psycho too. No sane person writes like that. In all capitals. What world does this take place in? For him to go down there and present it before a judge was major. That yeah, they definitely, they think that she like killed him for sure. Him. I never threatened him. His wife Carol Ooh, says he did you see that smile? What does that remind me of? Look at that smile. I'm not a psychologist, but I've seen this before. When psychos think they've gotten away with something, they do that little smile in the end. I remember I saw a case study of this specific thing. I think it was the lady who killed her kids. A psycho smile? Psychopath get away with it. Smile. Lady who killed her kids. Smile. I swear I'm not always as bad at Google. This is it. This is it. Duping delight. And the blood just keep coming out of her mouth. And that, that haunts me the most. Yeah, that is what it is. When people tell a lie like that, and they think it's convincing, they feel happy they've gotten away with it, so they give that sick little smile. Duping delight. So that's what I thought of when I saw Carol. Let's watch it again now. I never threatened him. Don started to tell me something. He said, Kenny, if I can pull this off, it will be the slickest thing I ever did in my life. He left with a phone call, and he left out. I never got to see him again after that. Oh, that's but such a horrible Don cliffhanger for this guy. Was if I can pull this off, it will be the Pulled slickest thing off. I ever did in my life. Escaping to Costa Rica, maybe? Why did he want to go to Costa Rica? Sounds like he was jumping ship. He, he liked it. He was now. ready to move down there. He could remember things from way back when he was a kid, but he couldn't remember where he was for the last five minutes. And one of our volunteers came to me and said that that looked like Alzheimer's to him. She's very convincing. Maybe he doesn't know who he is. Maybe he doesn't know where to call him. Carol's smart. She's setting the stage for he just up and disappeared. She is we smart. We don't know what the hell happened. Isn't she? My understanding was that, that he was killed by... We'll go there. Ooh. Someone's scared to talk. A chill just ran through the air. The best thing he's done, it's worth just bringing up. 
So the music video here, Kitty Kitty, <laughs> about Carol killing her husband. And a look-alike Carol walking along. There's the a line music video. Feeding body parts. Yes. To you haven't seen Here Kitty Kitty. You don't know what you're missing. It looks just like her. <laughs> oh my god. No way. I love this man. I love this man. People are remixing it already. Look at this. <laughs> This song is awesome. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How badass is this that Joe Exotic made this song? This turned into the best mystery drama I've seen in a really long time. This is riveting stuff. I have more and more respect for Joe Exotic. This is brilliant. The fact that he had the balls to make a song about Carol killing her husband. This is real? How is this real? This is better than any fictional show I've ever seen. How is this possible? How are these real people? It's so, this is so good. Mm, beautiful. Me as a reality show producer? Oh, I was yeah, man. What would yeah, you hell yeah, right place, right time. Did you actually grind your husband up? Feed him to the tiger so there's no evidence? I'm gonna show you some stuff that will put that right in your head. Yeah, as if it wasn't right in my head already. People want to believe something that's just totally That does look just like her. And so it, it has been a problem. I'm so sorry, Carol, if you this actually didn't kill your husband. Sit. Is there any chance that Don had been killed by one of his cats? No. Why? Didn't happen. There was a cat out there that could eat 100 pounds of flesh. Yeah. Right, it's There'd too much. Skeleton. There'd be skeletons. Yeah, yeah. There'd be something. Right. His own kids demanded that they oh. DNA test the meat grinder. Putting around his hands or the grinder, much less a body. One day, somebody's gonna stub their toe. There is a god. <laughs> I like that. I love that face. His name is Karma. Somebody's gonna stub their toe. There is a god. <laughs> this guy knows who did it. I wish he would be more yeah, forthcoming about what he knows. Carol's brother was a member of the sheriff's department. He maintained. Oh, that's kind of significant. Well, you know, that's my sister. That puts everything in a I'm new sure light. Because everyone before that was talking about how they didn't investigate anything. Department. There are, is a lot of circumstantial evidence. I want to give Carol a little benefit of the doubt, because none of this is really evidence, even though there's a lot of circumstantial information that is put together really well in the editing that makes it look like she killed him. The will and the power attorney, they were all taken out of the office that day. No! Stop! I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. I was executor for both of their wills. That new power attorney gave her control over the estate. A normal person would put upon my death, first sentence, upon my disappearance. Attorney oh, my says, disappearance. Upon my disappearance. Is that normal verbiage? I have, in 37 years, never oh, seen God. it say, or disappearance. Yikes. How did Carol Jesus. In the aftermath of this disappearance. I mean, imagine that maybe she didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. Let's say she did. That's love true. Don that would be very unfortunate right she now did for her. Him. But. I remember the day his death certificate came. You inherited only 10% of his estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where did the rest go? Carol. Carol. Carol and the cats. There is a science of getting rich, and it is an exact science. The science of getting rich, according to Carol Baskin. Get picked up by a man and then hold a gun to him. Marry that guy. Kill him. Feed him to the tigers. Steal the will. Profit. Chop, chop. Let's get this money, guys. Get rich. Relative to most animal Run. people. Run. Run, you I fool. I characterize her as reasonably rational. What the hell does that mean? My number one goal in life is going to be to make this woman happy. Oh, no. Carol's new husband looks kind of like a guy who won't ask questions. That's when we got the thing from Carol to stop. And if you continue talking, I will take everything away from you and your family. Damn. That's why we haven't spoken out. Because you're afraid of Carol Baskin. Oh, yes, I am. Carol Baskin. Nice edit. I like that. I'm taking Carol on. Get him, Joe. Joe Exotic's starting to look like a hero. Can't believe I'm saying that. Wow. 
The show's amazing. How is this a real thing that happened? How are these real people? I have to say the people who put this together have done an amazing job creating a narrative through editing and storytelling and I mean I guess the story's already there, right? But they put it together in a really gripping way. Episode 1 I'd say was so-so. Episode 2 and 3 are killer. This is some of the best documentary work I've ever seen. I'm 100% I'm going to finish this entire series tonight. The binge watch continues in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then.